All right, what is up, YouTube? We're going into round four of the Modern Challenge. <clears throat> Currently 3-0. Oh. Beat, um, beat that new Serum Powder Eldrazi deck last round. I think my opponent kept a pretty poor hand in game two, or game one, then just didn't hit a land in game two. I saw one... I saw one colorless Eldrazi player. Yeah, I played against I, I played against the colorless Eldrazi, colorless Eldrazi player in my last round. Um, then I played against Ponza in round two and played against Bogles in round one. So I've had a pretty non-interactive <laughs> set of matches, but it's probably part of the reason why I'm 3-0. Death Shadow's, Death Shadow's good at handling those decks. Ooh, won the die roll, sweet. I think it's Kelsey Kex Kexi, I don't recognize the name. Uh, heater. If we find another land, it's a turn one. If we find another street wraith, turn one death shadow. Tilt. The first land was okay. We're playing against Storm. Feels like Storm. Gas. Hopefully it doesn't get one of these things doesn't get bolted. I'm still gonna run it out there. When I see Spire Bluff Canal, I think Storm. And it's just gonna be so good for us if we can get two Death Shadows in play against Storm quickly. We're attacking for eight next turn while playing a Liliana. Storm's a very good deck. So I put a card on top. Yeah, we're playing against Storm. Yeah, take it easy, Archmage. Have a good rest of your day. See you later. Hopefully. And I'm just jamming this Liliana and start taking it up. Like, I'm not, not going to sit here and play cute against this guy. I'm gonna ditch. I'm probably gonna ditch my Traverse because it's pretty far off to Delirium, and if I draw a Bloodbraid Elf, then I'm gonna want my fourth land. Okay, nothing from them. I'm gonna look at my top card here. If it's a removal spell, then I'm just gonna hold up. Now it's that one. Okay. Well, now. I go to attacks. Nice thing is that sorcery is actually going to lead to a kill next turn because it turns on traverse. Wow, that resolved. So now we're going to ditch this. Let's be traverse for a land. Now we just got to hope our opponent doesn't just kill us here. Which easily could happen. Like, it looks like they're going for it. They have the pass and playing with the graveyard too. Another Electromancer. <clears throat> All right, no gifts I'm given. Because this is just elementary for them. If they have a gift. Grape shot. Grape shot me. They have another grape shot. Are they going to remand their, their grape shot? Hmm. 
pass. Oh, the last card was the Pass in the Flames. Tilt. <sighs> All right. Gonna lean out here. Get rid of these. I want this. I want these in. These in. Well, a lot of cards in, so I'm gonna have to do a, quite a bit of sideboarding. So I don't want my K commands. I don't want my decays. He has Shiv and Reef, so he's not playing. Um, he's not playing Blood Moon. Ditch a land. Sort by converted mana cost. Can cut a traverse. I can cut a pair of fatal pushes for these collective brutalities. So I think I like brutality more on the play than fatal push. I'll take. I might want brutal or uh, fatal pushes on the draw. A lot of times they board out some cost reducers, so you don't want to get flooded with too much removal, but you have to keep enough in. Um, you have to keep enough in to make sure you're just not caught with your pants down. Yeah, that sounds good. We have double do dose answers to goblins. Excuse me. I'm gonna keep seven. So maybe we get a watery grave because if we draw another fetch line, we have to turn two shadow. Oh shoot, I should have fetched a red source. Because we have the anger. I'm gonna take the brawl, even though it like the Noxious Revival, well, I could just take the Noxious Revival or the Opt. The problem if I don't, I'm gonna take the Noxious Revival because it just gets something back that's important. But I can't really take the Brawl because I've got answers to it and I need my cards to do other things. That's land. All right. Well, I'm gonna cast it. I'm not gonna just do nothing for my turn. And then we either get the opt or we get a random card off the opt. This is awkward because you almost have to like scry away a bad card. I'm gonna take this grape shot. Make them go through the graveyard. That's a great draw. Gives us a really smooth turn. That's another great draw. I'm gonna like, I would like a uh, fetch land, just something to speed my clock up a little bit. Because this is a, currently a three turn clock. All right, well, we're going to at least get a card out of them. And if they. If they go to like gifts here, we can just stub the gifts, leave them with not a lot left over. Yes. We're just going to take this grape shot. I'm 
opponent could have gone for it there. The opponent still can go for it now. Okay, they're not going to go. Yes. Edict that. Oh, we didn't draw a remand. Okay. Oh, so they drew a uh, bolt. Okay. Bolt my shadow. All right, I was going to slow him down. Slow me down a little bit. Steam vents. Okay. There's my fetch land that I needed. So they have one ritual in their hand. Concedes. Okay. So I'm going to bring in a little bit more removal on the draw now that we saw. You know, they do have those brawls in. Decay slow, and he doesn't have Blood Moon. Okay, Command's kind of medium. <sighs> yeah, I think this is what we're going to do. I want to make sure to fetch Seekers my fetch lands to get Watery Grave, Stopping Ground, Blood Crypt. So then I can cast everything in my deck if I can. Yeah, seems very good. We have an out to Goblins, which is gas. Opponents opt in for a good time. I don't know what I'm going to fetch with this on turn one, so I, I, I don't know. I might just leave it uncracked and just play it. I would like to find one more way to deal damage to myself. All right. Well, now we're gonna we're gonna be pretty aggressive with this stubborn denial. Yeah, we're just gonna counter anything now because we're not sure when we're gonna be able to use it, and like if we hit lands here. Ideally, we're just curving up into um, into Liliana. We're not going to have enough time to use a Stubborn Denial. Ooh. The Soul Read. Okay, so they're drawing a land. So they have six spells, so we need to get to Kraken. Manamorphose. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of the card drawer. Well, he has a lot of cost reducers left in his deck. Well, that's going to kill one of them. Playing this Liliana and ticking it up is actually kind of dangerous. So I think I'm going to not use this Liliana. I'm going to use this Collective Brutality because it lets me get Death Shadow into play also. And I'm going to discard a Fatal Push. So Escalate with two modes. Oh, hang on. Let me get Stomping Ground so that I use that so I can cast Anger of the Gods. Stomping Ground. The reason why it would be nice to get Liliana in play, but I really want to um, I really want to use this collective brutality when I can. And like hopefully I get to eat it the, the brawl next turn. Yeah, things are just coming up Millhouse now. 
That's what this Death Shadow deck does. It's going to eat alive all of the combo, all the fair. You're going to eat alive the combo decks. You just need to make sure that you can beat the fair decks as well. My opponent appears to be a little salty. Opponent's giving me the BMs. I mean, my draw has just been gas. I don't think I'm going to use my Liliana. I don't think I'm even going to use it. I think I'm just going to clock him and keep both of these cards. I don't want to put Past in Flames in his graveyard. It's kind of like a free discard. And I've got like, I've, got, I've just got him covered six ways to Sunday. Yeah, there's a little bit of salt. I mean, my draw has been very punishing this game. All right, so now we just need a fetch land. Or a regular land or a Thoughtseize. get you. into the next round there. Storm opponent not allowed to be salty. Hey, Radio, thank you very much for the happy birthday. I appreciate it.